So lately I've been raiding huge bunkers that are all sheet metal and armored and stuff, but I think people are catching on to the fact that they're gonna get raided and I've been getting trolled by these bases. So I wanna look for some smaller bases because when I went out and took all my C4 and when I took all my rockets out, I actually got some pretty decent profit on these little two by one type bases. So I'm gonna search the cliffs, the shoreline and stuff, See if I can find some that are kind of hidden, so it looks like they'll be stashing sulfur there. But right now I'm pretty low on sulfur, and it would help to raid some of these smaller bases and just get some decent profit. And then as soon as I go for the shore, I see this massive thing. I'm not going to fall for it though. I'll let that slide. I'll try to find some other smaller bases that are much easier to profit from. I think this probably wouldn't be any profit. Okay, we'll start with the shoreline, and there's a boat here for me. I think people try to hide their bases on the shore pretty often, so we should be able to find something. Look what I found, I was driving right past it, I almost didn't even notice. But this is what I'm talking about, this looks good, if this thing isn't raided, I think we might have just found something good. Okay, the privilege is blocking me, I think a lot of people might have drove past this thing without even noticing it. It's pretty hidden. Camouflage. Okay, looks good. This is exactly what I had in mind though. So, we can do 800 ammo and this thing will be dead. Okay, boxes. So we need sleeper. We need 20k sulfur to profit since it's armored. It's naked though. We just finished this off. CRL. Launcher, but it's pretty low health. Just a bunch of guns stashed. Loot. Yes, 20k sulfur. 22k plus 3k GP, it's a little bit of profit, like 5k sulfur profit. We did get the guns and stuff. This is what I'm looking for though, this is a prime example. 24 tech trash too, components, two more supply signals. Ah, uh, so I was driving past this and somebody's got to tempt me of course with one of these huge bases. He's got three quarries in the compound. Four external walls, probably 30 external TCs. Uh, I really want to raid it, but my instinct's telling me it's going to be a troll base. So we'll keep trying to find these smaller bases to profit and then maybe come back here. Once again, I almost walked right past this thing. Look how well it blends in the stone on the stone rock. I barely saw that thing. We'll just skip the door since it's stone and take off the entire ceiling in case there is some armored wall or something blocking the path. Wow, this thing is so compact. Twenty-three k sulfur. There we go. Let's see if he has anything crafted. Nothing. And he made survey charges as well. I guess I can take these home for emergency. But hey, that was some really decent profit. Only took 5k sulfur to raid and got 23k sulfur. So about 20k sulfur profit. Okay, I think we got another cliffside base here. This one's not very hidden at all though. But it does have some armored things on it. Looks pretty promising. Yeah, this looks good. It's not small in any means. And it's not really hidden. But I think we could profit here. Sheet door all the way over here in the corner. I wonder if it's actually going to be this easy like the loot's right here. 
Because it's armored off. You can go on top real quick. Ooh, it goes all the way back into the rock. The loot might be up against the wall here. Well, we'll go ahead and start here. I mean, I can take out this foundation and half wall and then damage this armored. I think the loot is going to be in this area somewhere. Oh, no. Just honeycomb right here. Come on, so maybe it's right behind this armor. Yes, boxes. Oh, so many workbenches. Components? It might be hard to find TC in this thing though. Oh, there's a furnace going. Oh, TC's right here. And we already got satchels and 130 ammo. Man, he's got a lot of components, so I think he'll be loaded. Gear sets, meds. All right, so I think we only need like 30K sulfur to profit off of that. All right, moment of truth. Yes, bunch of ammo, 40 rockets, 9C4. Holy crap, it's just doing charcoal. AKs, auto turret. This is looking really good, let's check the TC now. Even in the campfire, he's got explosives. Here we go. Okay, 3K. So for not much, but stacked with materials. Um, yeah. So that's definitely gonna be profit with the C4 and rock 40 rockets. All right, I've got the best of it. Take this stuff home. These raids are totally working out though. Just like I thought they would. Okay, so after circling the map, raiding all those bunker type bases on the coast, ended up back here where I started at this bunker thing with an auto turret maybe we can hit it let me just hop on top of this make sure it's not raided this definitely looks like a raid base to me Alright, well there's no visible damage on it. Let's see if it's degrading. Well, I'm not even gonna have to take damage from the high wall. Not degrading. Oh, I'm just so scared to hit this thing. I don't wanna get no loot again. Whatever, we'll go for it. 55% here. Just drill straight down. I'll bring C4. We can do this quick. Oof. Half floors. That's to be expected though. Armored. Another armored. All right, we gotta be close. Sheet. Oh, thank God there's no turrets in here. And it's a troll, of course. Bunch of launchers. 
Maybe we can blow out some of these walls. Bro anguish. Oh, this isn't this isn't foundation. Luke could be below me. Oh, he was trying to hide it. Look at that. Can we get TC though? Oh, there's not much in here. Come on. A little bit of components. 6k sulfur. Are you kidding? Could try blowing out some of these walls for TC, maybe. Oh, here we go. Here's the furnaces and boxes. What the heck? It's like a whole nother loot room. The sleeper. Oh, just charcoal. So we'll leave with that. The smaller bases ended up being a lot more profit, like I thought.